Um, just saw the safety over rotated towards uh, Jarvis's side. Felt the, um, another one attaching to the back, coming out of the backfield, uh, and just felt that space to Donovan and tried to put it in that window. A um, little bit of contact, but you know you, you can't bank on that uh, being called. Uh, but I mean that was that was the second one. Uh, the first interception, the one put to Donovan as well, was I mean, he's probably 15 yards down the field getting illegal contact. But the other two were just uh, bad throws. You know, I got didn't follow through on the uh, one in the red zone, which is extremely costly. A red zone turnover just sailed high. You know, you can you can see if you slow it down and falling back, um, fighting my own momentum, which is not good. And then the other one to Jarvis uh, on the sideline, our sideline, just got to put it more outside. You know. It, yeah, I made a good play on it, seeing it uh, left inside and, and rotating back and playing it, but just just frustrating. Uh, you know, I, I don't think it was uh, anything preparation-wise, mentally. It was just uh, missed throws, uh, un uncharacteristic, and I, I hurt this team. So that's, that's the most frustrating thing for me because I thought our defense played uh, tremendous against a really, really good offense. Uh, but when you turn the ball over, uh, on your own territory in the red zone and around midfield and give them extra opportunities, they're going to take advantage of it. I mean, uh, it's just uh, who they are. You, you said that you use the term uncharacteristic. You know, you haven't been turning the ball over a lot the last two years. So, I mean, does that just add to the frustration that it, it happened tonight in a game where you guys had a chance? Yeah, for? and that's, that's why it's extra frustrating, which is why, you know, like I said, I, I thought defense played great. I thought our skill guys played well. Um, offensive line, same thing. The backs, obviously, running their tails off. So uh, that's why it's frustrating for me. Is uh, like I said, it hurt this team. I mean, there's no, there's no excuse. Um, it is what it is. How, how difficult is it though when you? I mean, I don't know when the last real practice you've had. I mean, is, is that a factor in a game like this? No, I mean, like I said, I don't think it was any mental preparation. I've had a, a ton of reps in making those throws, and uh, I expect myself to make them, and that's that's why it's frustrating. You know, if it, I'd be sitting up here giving an excuse that I hadn't practiced, but that's, I'm, I'm a quarterback in the NFL. I need to make those throws, and I have before and time and time again. So it is what it is. Hey, about the frustration aspect of it, since three of them happened in the first half, I guess, like, what are you doing, saying at halftime to, you know, maybe try to fix some of that? Yeah, I mean. Like I said, that some of them were just you know bad throws that you just got to flush it, flush it and move on. And knowing that at that point we were still only two score game, defense was like I said playing well uh, that we were going to be in that ball game and we were. Um, it just sucks to to end it um, on another turnover when could have gotten us into field field goal range and uh, sealed the game. Um, it just sucks that it, it all happened early and gave them extra points. This team has had two pretty difficult bosses to take in, in less than a week. Where do you guys go from here, uh, especially as you, you try to hang in there for the playoffs? Um, we have to take care of business, uh, our own business. I know, you know, it, it's just uh, got to handle Pittsburgh next week. Um, you know, obviously, everybody knows we need some help to get in the playoffs. So, uh, but help won't matter unless we take care of our own business, and that's got to be our focus. So, uh, got another division opponent. And then another one after that to end the season. So uh, we we'll get better, um, and you know, hope for the best. But all we have to do is work hard and uh, focus on getting the win next week. Can you kind of walk us through your morning? Kind of having to fly here, and then I know you had time to get a walk through. And what, what was your morning like here? Uh, yeah, wake up, um, talk to the doctors, clear the protocol, and um, fly. Landed about 9:30 and went straight to the hotel. Um, Went through some stuff with AVP and Kevin, and then did walk through, uh, and just and then after that, it's just a normal routine like pregame. How frustrating was it over these last ten days or whatever it ended up being? It sounded like you were asymptomatic basically the whole time to not clear the testing every day. Yeah, I mean it's it's very frustrating, um, especially this past week. You know, obviously we, we were hit pretty hard with uh, the bug last week uh, with everybody uh, prior to game time, but uh, just. Not being able to get a negative test, and uh, you know, being around my wife, she never tested positive. It's just the whole thing's just strange. So, but I handled it the best I could. I had to be involved in virtual meetings, talking to the guys, and, and doing these mental reps, and doing stuff around the house, and it, you know, as much as I could. But it's not an excuse. You know, like I said, I just I expect myself to make those throws tonight, and I didn't. And that's that's why I hurt this team. 
be so up too. You got Pittsburgh, you like you mentioned, Monday night, you got Cincinnati after that, so two division games. Do you still feel like you guys have some control over, over your destiny here? We do. And like I said, if we don't win these next two games, then it won't matter, truly. So uh, we have to handle business, uh, and that's, that's the main focus is uh, on to Pittsburgh. Um, I'll learn from my mistakes. I really do think our guys played well and just handle a division opponent that we know pretty well uh, and it's playing really well right now. Good. Thank you. All right, Baker Mayfield, after the game, a career night for him for all the wrong reasons, making no excuses for their performance and loss in Green Bay tonight. The loss drops the Browns to 7-8, and eight, last in the AFC North. This was a team that Started the year well, 3-1, and one, but they have lost three of their last five. They do have two more games, as Baker referenced, that they have to win out and get some help. And it's some division games. They're at Pittsburgh January 3rd on a Monday night game, and then they end the regular season at home against Cincinnati. But again, so many things happening with this team on and off the field. The Cleveland Browns right now in a tough spot after a Christmas Day game on the road. We'll have much more coming up from this game. We've heard from Kevin Stefanski and now Baker Mayfield still yet to hear from the Green Bay Packers. We'll effort that for you when we come back here on HQ.